Hey, I'm Jamie and welcome to my channel. So today I'm hoping this is a fun one for you. I hope this is entertaining. All of these are my opinion and I'm going to talk about what not to wear in the trends for fall and winter 2023, 2024. And some of these are pretty funny and pretty silly and you might be thinking they're quite obvious that you would not wear them, but you know what? There are some people out there that probably will. And then some of these are things that have been going on for a little while that maybe people are wearing, but in my opinion, there might be a better option out there. But if you love these trends and you are going to be wearing them, please let me know. Like I said, it's just my opinion. And I love when you guys give me your opinion and it's opposite of mine. That's totally okay. There's a lot of controversy that comes from this. And you know what? It makes it a lot of fun. So we'll go ahead and jump in. But first, I want to say if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. So the first what not to wear trend that I want to talk about that was all over the runway shows and it's called no pants. And you might be thinking, what in the world is no pants? And that's literally no pants and it's no skirt, no dress, no nothing other than maybe a bodysuit or some underwear. <laughs> and a lot of the outfits were also including tights. So the no pants movement is not very practical and I actually had a little bit of fun putting on a bodysuit with tights and a blazer over it just to kind of mimic what I thought this would look like and I felt so funny in this outfit but I wanted to do this because I thought it was funny and I'm usually not funny in my videos so I hope you're entertained by this because I wanted to show you this and then I also wanted to talk about a version that you possibly could do um, that includes some type of pant, but it just may not look as much like you have pants on. And so what I did is I just threw on my faux leather shorts that were really short and they actually came to the very bottom of the blazer. They just hung out a little bit, but I thought this was a little bit more practical and a little bit more wearable by most people because I'm not sure that you want to walk around looking like you just got out of ballet class, which is what I felt like. I felt like I was in a leotard and some tights and of course I didn't have the ballet shoes on, but you get the idea. But I'm not sure where this trend is coming from. I just think they're probably wanting to be a little bit more out there with the styles that they're showing. And maybe somebody in a big city like New York would wear this. If you would, please let me know in the comments below because to me, this is not practical, not good for most people. So I I have seen some outfits where it's just a long shirt and a long blazer over some tights and I do not think this is absolutely appropriate either unless she has some shorts underneath there but I do think it is a little bit better than just seeing someone either in a bodysuit or underwear and a bra and tights walking around town. This next one is very similar to the no pants trend and I'm calling this show it all sheer because I have seen a ton of sheer clothing coming out in stores and not just tops, full on dresses where they're just showing underwear and panties underneath. And this has been a very big trend on the runway shows for the past few seasons. And I haven't seen a lot of it in stores, but this fall already, a lot of the new deliveries at places, I've seen a lot of this sheer clothing, even sheer skirts that people have put underwear underneath. And I'm just not real sure about that. I don't highly recommend it. I do think it's something that's going to go out of style because I I don't know how many people are wearing this. If you are and you live in a city like New York, maybe you do. And if you're watching this, please let me know that someone like me in a smaller city or even people in small towns, I'm not sure that this is going to be a very practical look. And you know, there are some options of sheer clothing that look really nice. Things that are woven or lace that are really beautiful that you can put camisoles underneath. You can even put nude bras underneath and you can't really see anything. I love those. I think they're very nice pieces that can fit into a wardrobe really well. And maybe that is a better option here as opposed to going full on sheer from head to toe. So I've also seen a lot of lace nightgowns being sold as slip dresses. And I'm not sure that a nightgown is the best option for a dress. Now I do think that if you're a little edgy, this could be really cute if you threw a moto jacket over it with some combat boots and some tights and just kind of played up the look a little bit and actually made it 
look like a dress as opposed to just throwing it on as a slip dress which does look like a nightgown and then throwing on some heels and going out in the town i think you kind of have to give this one a little bit more personality if you want to wear this one as a trend so layering has become a very big trend whether you layer a couple of tops together or you know, you put a hoodie under a jacket like this. So those are things that we're going to see a lot of in the fall. And one type of layering that I just was not sure about, and I really wouldn't recommend because I think it is going to go out of style, and that's to take your corset tops or your tube tops and layer them over another top, either a tank top or even a button-up shirt, something like that, because it does create a little bit more longevity for these items, but honestly, I prefer maybe putting something over them, like a jacket or a blazer or a cardigan or something, as opposed to layering a shirt under them. Although there was a version that I found with this tube top that's a little bit of a peplum and over a tank top. And this is, was actually growing on me and I thought it could be kind of cute. But this is another thing where it would have to match your personality. You'd have to be able to pull this off really well. I don't think your average person would be able to pull this off. But if you're super trendy and you feel good and stuff like this, this might be an option that you would really like. So I would love to know if you will be layering any corset tops or tube tops and things like that over some other tops in your wardrobe this fall season. My next what not to wear trend is actually balloon leg or barrel leg jeans and pants. And I have been completely floored by the amount of this style I have seen in stores because I honestly do not think this is very flattering on any shape. I think if you wear a tapered jean or pant that this can look really beautiful minus that really big leg. And you know what, if you're wearing a parachute pant style that's a cargo pant that cinches at the bottom, I even think this looks a little bit better than your barrel or your balloon leg jeans and pants because it just makes a little bit more sense with these. The material is a little bit less heavy and it just has a cute look like that. But this barrel leg and balloon leg look just isn't very flattering. And I do think if you're going to want something like this, go for more of your wide leg that doesn't taper at the end or your straight legs or even just a tapered leg. A lot of the mom jeans out there actually have a little bit of a tapered leg on them and they can be very flattering. So let me know if you love this style and if you have found one that you like, because I've also seen some crop versions, which I think are a little worse even. Uh, the shorter they get and the more ballooned they get, the more your proportions can look a little bit off to me. So the oversized trend is now moving into our outerwear, so coats. They were showing really, really long floor sweeping and very oversized coats on the runway shows. And I just don't recommend people wearing these. I think it's going to be tough going out in a coat that drags the ground. And something that is oversized like that is going to be pretty heavy. And it's just not that flattering and it just kind of overwhelms people, even if you're a taller person. So this is not something that I think is going to stick around. And I think there are a lot of amazing coat options out there that you wouldn't need to go this route. Now, if you want a longer maxi coat that doesn't sweep the floor and is not oversized, I think those are absolutely beautiful. And I think they're classic enough that they will stick around in your closet for a little while. So maybe avoid that really long sweeping oversized coat. So now let's take a look at the slouchy thigh-high boots, which I think this is going to be a very hard trend to find out in stores. There have been a few, but not a ton. Most of the over-the-knee boots are going to be more of a sock booty style where it's tighter on the leg, which is sometimes harder for people to wear if they want to put them over jeans. If you like shorter dresses, then an over-the-knee boot is a great option to pair with one, especially in the wintertime because it'll keep you warm. But what about the slouchy ones? The ones on the runway that are really loose, they're also called waders. And I'm just not sure about these because I'm not sure that they go back with a lot of the things we are wearing. They kind of match the styles of everything loose and slouchy and oversized. So I think if I was going to go for something that is slouchy and a little bit oversized on my leg, I would probably do a shorter kind of slouch booty that's either an ankle boot or one that comes mid-calf or even a knee-high one because I love that knee-high look in a slouchy boot, but I'm just not sure about that over-the-knee waiter option. 
there are some 80s trends that are coming back along with the Y2K trends. And the one I want to talk about right now is leg warmers. And I actually wore this back in the 80s. So if you're close to my age, then you probably did too. And I was pretty young then. So I do think that this is a little bit of a younger trend. And I think you know, the high school, middle school girls would probably look really cute in these. I don't think that they would be something that I could put back with some of my outfits that I have right now, but they might be a fun option to have with my loungewear or, you know, my pajamas as I am around the house because I do get quite cold and they might be a nice option for that. So I do have a wearable fall trends video that I've already put out if you want to check that out to see what are some really good trends that you could add to your wardrobe this season and there may be things in that video that you have already added from past seasons because we are kind of repeating some of these trends but i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing and hitting the little bell to get notifications love your neighbor be kind and i'll talk to you next time